Hey ladies, I just wanted to come to you today and show you how I do my super fast face. Look, you can see I'm using the primer right now, or trying to anyway. I actually am at the very end of my bottle. I still have the glass bottle. Um, when you get it, it'll actually be in a plastic tube-like bottle, which I like better because you don't have to worry about the pump getting stuck or anything like that. So the first thing I do is I start out with my primer, of course. I did my full face. It's our Glorious. It's a full face primer. And then I like to let mine sit just a little bit. So I'm going to do just a little bitty bit of our, you can see it's our eye primer. Um, <clears throat> the reason I use the eye primer and the Glorious is just because I feel like the eye primer for my eyeshadow, it just keeps it on a little bit better than just that um, because it's made for your eyes. Your skin on your eyes are, tend to be a little bit different because it's the thinnest skin that you have on your body. Um, so that's kind of why I do that. So <clears throat> I have really dry skin lately. I've been um, mixing our BB Flawless and then our touch um, concealer, our liquid touch concealer together. I just kind of take it in the back of my hand like this. And I just squirt a little bit. A little bit with this goes a long way because it is a tinted moisturizer. So you don't need a ton of it. Um, <clears throat> and then I take my concealer and I mix it in. And the reason that I do this is because... The um, touch or the BB cream is not a full coverage foundation, but our liquid that you've seen all the videos about, I'm sure, is actually um, not made for dry skin because it is a powder finish. So I mix these together to give me that same look, that same powder finish uh, with my blending buds. And I just go over... As you can see, I got way too much on my hand, so, um, like I said, a little bit goes a long way, and I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on with my light today. Um, and these are, these are our blending buds. You actually have already gotten mine wet. You get it wet, and then you wring it out, and you towel dry it, and that helps a little bit more moisture, and it also helps your face from streaking when you're putting on any foundation products, which is really good. Um, I just want to make sure I got that really good. Um, the next thing that is my go-to is I don't ever, ever, ever leave my house without doing my brows. This is our Precision Brow Liner. Now you can see my hair is super dark. So obviously I use the dark shade. We have light, dark, and medium. So we have three different shades to pick from. It has one of the finest points on the market right now. Um, so that way you don't have that drawn on look. You're just filling them in and you just want to do short, like really short strokes. Um, and I'm just going to show you the difference real quick when I fill in just one as compared to doing both of them. And I'm going to try to hurry because I'm sure y'all can hear Grayson in the background. He's trying to come in here. Okay. And I'd go over it with the brush just because it makes it a little less harsh. But you can see the difference that that made. Just those few little strokes. Um... So that's our brush, and then after I do that, I'm going to go back over it. This is our brow gel. It actually has fibers in it, so anybody that has a hard time with, you know, short, um, not really thin um, eyebrows like me over here, I have them. They don't grow right there for whatever reason. So I just go over mine with a little bit of the brow gel with the fibers. It also keeps your brows in place, so that way you don't have, like, those stray... Um, weird eyebrows flying everywhere. So that's that. And then when I'm in a real big hurry, I actually just do um, my palette. This one is one of my favorites. It's uh, palette addiction palette number three. You can see the pretty colors in there. So I just take my liner shader brush and I'm going to go I'm going to take this one which is called tickled. It's got like a pinkish color to it. 
And I'm just going to go across my crease real quick. Like this. There you go. And then I'm going to take that same brush, other side, and I'm going to take this purple color here. And it's called Cheeky. And I'm going to get a little bit on my brush. And because this one's sparkly, um, or well, not sparkly, it's shimmers, um, I just kind of pat. Just go in. And then I kind of smooth it out just a little bit to kind of bring the two colors into each other. Um, and you can see there, you have a little bit, I'm going to flip the brush back over and just get a little bit more up here. And there you go. Um, and then I'm going to take the other, this is the shader side of the brush, it's flat. And I'm just going to go in with um, this, it's, um, it's called Irate, it's the black one on the palette. And I'm just going to line... A lot of times I do use our precision liners, but I like to use what I have, and this is what I grabbed today, so that's what I'm using. And I'm just going to go over top here. And there you go. Okay, so we're good there. I'm just going to smooth that out just a little bit. Okay, and you can see I still have way too much on my hand. Let me do something about that real quick before I get BB cream all over the place. It's not pretty. Okay, so now that we're done with that, my favorite part is my mascara. Usually, if I'm in a real, real big hurry, I'll do brows and I'll do um, my mascara and I'll just leave, honestly. Um... And I'm going to go here, and you just go straight up. And this is the transplanting gel. And then I'm going to go straight behind it with the fibers, which adhere to the transplanting gel. And that's what's going to make my lashes longer. And thicker and you can see the difference already right so then I just let mine dry for just a few seconds and I'm gonna go back behind it one more time just once again I just go straight up and I'm just locking those fibers in and I like to use my gel on the bottom um, it just because it's tinted, so it kind of gives it a little bit of color. And there you go. You can see the difference um, that just a few minutes does with half of my face. And this will stay on me until I'm ready to take it off. All right, bye guys. I hope you have a great day.